PASW statistics can be used to analyze your data from, let's say, an external source like Microsoft Office Excel. What it does is it eliminates your need to have to retype up information that you have gathered after your observations are complete. You can import an Excel spreadsheet into the data editor and it will automatically create variables based on the column headings that you have created in your spreadsheets. Also, you can export the data from the PASW data editor window back to Excel as well as you can also export it to Microsoft Office PowerPoint. Ensure you have your two-way ANOVA data file open. Then click the file menu. Select the open option. Then select data. In the open data dialog box, Select the down point arrow in the Files of Type option. Scroll through the options until you come to the Excel option, the .xls, .xlsx, then select that option. Locate the demo Excel file, then click to select it. Finally, select the Open button. In the Opening Excel Data Source dialog box, it allows you to choose certain options like which rows of data you would like to include, if you want to use the first row of data as the variable names, which worksheets you want to import, as well as you can specify a particular data range only. Choose your options now, then click the OK button. Wait a few moments for the commands to be processed. Then the file should load with all of the corresponding headers that once were your um, column labels in your Excel file, as well as all the data should be the exact same way as it was when it was in Excel. Because if you recall, Excel has a pretty similar interface that PSW has. You can scroll to the right to take a look at all of your new variables. Due to the nature of importing information from different programs, everything may not be 100% congruent. So if you take a look in between the MCAT and the reside variable, you'll see another variable called GE. Now you can simply make sure that you know exactly what this variable is by expanding the width of the column. And you can do so by clicking to the vertical line to the right of the GE variable. When you click with your left mouse, hold it down and pull to the right until you see that the variable is called gender. Once you're done, release your mouse. Not only can you import data from Excel, let's say you're a working student and you can't afford to purchase the PASW Statistics 17 program. You can always transfer it um, to a campus to work on your information and as soon as you're all done and you want to store it, let's say at home, you can always export that information from PASW back to Excel. First, let's close out of this imported document by clicking on the close button in the upper right hand corner of your data file. You do not need to save the changes, so select the no button. Before you export, you should ensure that you've saved the current changes. Once you have, select the File menu. Then, select the Save As option. By default, it's going to prompt you to save the current data file by the default type with whatever program you're working with. So here, we see in the Save As Type option to save it as a .sav file but we want to export it to an Excel spreadsheet. So what we need to do is select the down point arrow in the Save As Type option. Then select the Excel option that best suits the needs for the different software that you have installed in your computer. You may have Excel 97, 2000, 2003, or 2007. Just ensure that you choose the right one that's gonna allow you to look at the Excel datasheet 
once it's been exported. For this example, I'm going to select Excel 97 through 2003. You can choose a destination. I'm just going to go ahead and save mine in the current folder. As well as, you want to type in a file name that's going to allow you to remember what it is that you're saving. So go ahead and type in a file name now. Also, you can choose which one of the variables that you want to export. Like let's say you have a limited amount of space left on your computer. So there's only a particular number, let's say five variables that you're going to be working with at home. So you can simply choose to export those five variables by first clicking on the variable button. In the Save As Variables dialog box, it's going to list all of the variables in the current data file. And the checks are going to denote the fact that you want to export those variables. And by default, all of your variables are going to be checked because they're going to assume that you want to export the data file as is. Now, as I just explained, if you only wanted to keep a particular number, you can actually disregard a couple of the variables by deselecting them. I'm going to deselect my score variable now by clicking in the score keep checkbox. Then click the continue button. Once back in the save data as dialog box, click your save button to solidify the export. As mentioned earlier, you can also export to PowerPoint and we're going to demonstrate this by exporting a table into a PowerPoint slideshow. To do this, go ahead and switch back to your output viewer now. Scroll through your output and locate a particular table that you would like to export. Once you have selected your table, click the file menu. Then select export. In the Export Output dialog box, under the Document Settings, select the down point arrow under the Type option. Then, select the PowerPoint option, and select the OK button to solidify the export.